Hi, I'm Ali Word. I'm testing the Vivo Active 4S watch by Garmin. I'm on the beach at Bournemouth and I'm going to test it on the Run app and show you how it works. Got my elastic glasses on. I love these glasses because they um, clip off in the middle just like that and then they have a magnetic clip clip back on. So really good for sports. Um, So quick run across the beach, I'm quite tired already, it's only seven minutes but I've been running across the soft sand and my heart rate's gone up from 80 to about 130. I'm now on the top of Fengersby Head and just ducking, ducking by a bench to try and get out of the wind and um, my heart rate is 120. It was 150 when I got here and I've done 1.77 miles. Behind me is National Coast Watch Institution at Hengersby Head and um, the car's there so I think I'll go and say hello and um, see how they're getting on. me just appeared one day I was just going for a run and I noticed it was on there. Uh, well Hengus Head is, is, is one of the lookouts for the National Coast Watch. Um, we're on watch here um, on four hour watches in the summer from eight in the morning until seven at night and we're basically looking out for uh, vessels in distress or people in distress not just at sea but also on the headland here going too near the cliff edge which is very unsafe uh, problems on the beach, um, a whole range of things really, uh, right from um, boats that you would consider to be boats right down to personal watercraft like um, uh, paddle boarders and kayakers and jet skis and that sort of thing. So that's what we're looking out for and we're part of a range of lookouts that goes all around the country. These are the old Coast Guard lookouts which were abandoned in the uh, early 90s and then so the National Coast Watch was then formed to take over their duties and so we're trained to the same level as the Coast Guards, uh, but we don't get paid. <laughs> so a bit like the sort of the, the land version of the RNLI really. Oh, fantastic and I noticed that mural you've got on the side, I, I passed it a few months ago and um, it's still there, so what, what do you think of that? How Did you commission it? Or no, it no, it just appeared one morning. <laughs> Appeared one morning, and uh, it was sort of donated to us by the uh, by the artist, and uh, and we quite liked it, so we decided to leave it there, you know. And uh, everyone comes up and takes photographs of it and likes it, and uh, yeah, yeah, we, we're, we're pleased that he, that he did it, really. In the late 19th century, they used to come to this um, this quarry pond here, and um, they used it mine dogger or ironstone um, boulders from here which they use for building. Um, you can still find them on the beach actually. When I go out with my sailing club, Hengersbury Head Adult Sailors Club, you can find these um, these big orange stones on the beach. Get amazing wildlife around here. In the visitor centre they've got some um, uh, webcams in some of the nests and you can see the herons nesting. You can see the other seabirds, there's lots of egrets around here as well. Cancel emergency message, yes, because there's no emergency. Okay, so I don't actually know why this setting's going off. It, it just tried to send an alert distress message, which I didn't need it to do, and then I cancelled it and it stopped my trip data. Okay, so I'm starting my run again from the quarry pond back home. So this is a lily pond. Um, I can't see any water lilies today, but in the summer it's absolutely full of them and it's so pretty. Well, there we go. There's a few water lilies, not in flower yet. So I've just got back from my run. Um, it's about an hour run, but my watch stopped working halfway through. Um, it, it thought that I needed to register an emergency and I didn't, and then it lost the trip data. So I started again. Um, but it's interesting reading it. It's telling me now my recovery heart rate is 141 beats per minute. It's my trip summary. So that's saying 1.82 miles, took me 19 minutes and 36 seconds. 
and then that's my pace. Turn. Oops, I mean, can't quite see that. I have to just scroll down a little bit. And that's the time. Oh, better start work. Actually, what's quite good fun about the running app is it tells you your pace over a mile. So I found um, I, I'd be going at sort of 10 or 9 minutes per mile. I got to the hill on the cliff top, I jogged up there, it went to 12, 12 and a half, 13, really slowed down and then I, um, I sped up again at the top of the cliff top and um, I just got home and it told me that my fast, fastest mile was 10.32 so I think what it's done is averaged out my speed over a mile. So this tells me my day, how fast I've run. Oh, that's interesting. So it did record the three runs, even though it stopped it. Um, so it just did it three separate runs. And it tells me how many um, steps I've done. So I do love the features on this watch, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, it is complicated. Um, it, it's not intuitive to me. I have to just keep learning as I go, and then reading the instruction book when I get back. So. I think if you are prepared to put the time into learning how to use your smartwatch, you'll, you'll get that back. But I think if you expect to just get it, put it on and figure it out straight away, um, yeah, you might be in for a bit of a surprise. It is really, really complicated, but also really, really clever and quite good fun.